And the Debritic channel is back, and somebody said, can you do a Lake Oroville update? Well, sure I can. I have been very busy, and I'm glad you reminded me that that needed to be done. I've been so busy trying to get my my programs automated. I take one step forward, four steps backwards, back up a step, and then, yeah, I lose track of time, and I'm hours into it. So I'm working really hard on getting automation so I can do these videos more quickly and accurately every single day for you guys. And until I get done with that, this is where I have been, so I apologize for that and let's roll on here we are at tropical tidbits and we were looking at the current monster low in the midwest kicking up big time floods you got some rain coming here to california if there's going to be a low pressure kick up here and there's going to be a little bit of rain here in california along with another system here kicking through and you can see that another system's coming through we are right around halfway done and then there's some more rain coming through right through here that's going to kick up into the mountains so there's some rain still coming here in the mountains that is possible coming within the next 16 days so we'll be watching this over and over again and we also will be looking at the numbers here in a little bit so don't go anywhere and we're going to roll out to windy.com right now the next 12 hours bodes pretty dry for california we go to the 24 hours still dry we go to the next three days you got some rain coming in the next three days as we scoot in here towards california you could see over here by trinity you got 0.72 and lake shasta right around there you got a little over a half inch 0.62 and then lake oroville around a half inch or so lake south lake tahoe 0.7 now is this still new snow and yes it's still new snow they're still calling for more snow in the mountains incredible this late in the year we are pushing in May 1st and we're still getting snowstorms in the mountains so that's pretty impressive we go the next five days and it builds up a little more especially right through here now the foot of snow coming we go the next 10 days look at this this is all snow so more snow coming to the mountains as a matter of fact another 16 plus inches for Lake Oroville 16.6 wow that's incredible and then more snow for Nevada more snow for Utah more snow for the Colorados as well so it is insane this, this is pretty late snowstorm really it is and how much new rain accumulation is that you're talking almost 2.35 more inches of rain that's possibly coming some more rain coming for Colorado around eight tenths of an inch so more rain is good news Lake Powell and Lake Mead are going to increase this year. There's no doubt about it. Now, they still won't come off that 9.5 million acre feet over at Lake Mead for all my Lake Mead people. And they're still not coming off the 9.5 for Lake Powell as well. But they still are in beliefs that the lake will come up quite a bit. Now, they're going to have a positive note. Let's hope for a real wet spring. And we're getting close to being, spring's getting close to being over. We only have a month left, so let's hope for some big time rains over here in the next several days. We will see if that comes to pass, but snow's still coming to the mountains. Rain still coming to California. It's not getting all the way down here like to my friends over in Bakersfield. It's not getting down there much. You're going to get a little bit, but not a whole lot. You're talking about 0 0.9 inches. Las Vegas is going to get a little bit of rain, which is good. Yosemite Valley like they need any more precipitation but they're going to get another 2.7 bear valley 2.9 carson city nevada 1.89 east quincy up here three inches of rain insane amount chester over here 2.7 lake shasta 2.5 and then trinity which they really need some rain 3.38 now let's go and we will do a presentation on the numbers. Now, some of the graphs were down today, so I only have so many, and I'll do what I can with what I got. So here we go. We are at Lake Oroville's water level here, and you can see this is the graph that I always use. Here's 2021, 22, and then this year, and look how much this thing has come up. This thing has come up quite a bit. We are getting close to the top. We're well above 850. You can see that they were at least quite a bit of water, and they've slowly been letting the water trickle up. They haven't been letting letting it come in quite a bit. Had they not, the lake would have been almost full already, probably within 10 feet or so. I would imagine that's how much the lake has fallen there intentionally. We go out to today's level and we are at Lake Oroville's water level. And this is your water level today is 879.51 feet MSL Sunday, April 30th, 2023 at 8 a.m. The level is 20.49 feet below full pool of 900. Changes since yesterday, this thing has come up 0.2 
125. And now we will be checking your inflows and your outflows and your percentage of capacity. Next, as we roll out to Lake Oroville, your current inflows are around 25,179 CFS. Your current outflows are currently 22,452. And your percentage of capacity is currently 91.14 percent of capacity and we go out to Lake Oroville's hourly level and you can see that Lake Oroville's hourly level the reservoir around 9 o'clock was 879.28 the reservoir around 8 o'clock this morning was 879.51 storage acre feet is around 3,224,218 so this is on the rise it's slowly coming up and like I just said your outflows right here you have received 35.78 inches of water at the dam since the beginning of the rainy season so that should increase over the next several days as there's more rain coming and we will be watching that and then we continue to roll on here we are at lake Folsom 2021 22 and then this year you could see that it's on par with right around the other level from last year you could see it's kind of, they're kind of doing the same thing it'll probably peak out right around june and july and then slowly start to decrease around august to get ready for the next rainy season we will see if they do that or not as you can see they can release water in a big hurry they can drop this thing from 430 to under 410 with on a drop of a dime in a matter of a few days as they did here too they come from almost 430 back down to almost 420 they dropped it at five feet in just a couple days so they could really move some water if they really choose to do so right now they're they're kind of echoing the inflows and outflows minus a couple thousand so the lake continues to rise and that's how they manage the water level so it, it's getting close to the top we're getting closer to may 1st snow's melting but with that big snowstorm coming who knows how long this snow will last they may have to do a big time drop if the temperatures rise really quickly so we'll be watching that as well we go out to your water levels and lake Folsom's water levels currently 449.1 one five feet MSL Sunday April 30th 2023 at 8 a.m. Sunday April 30th 2023 at 8 a.m. the level is 16.85 feet below full pool of 466 changes since yesterday the lake is on the rise 0 0.71 and we go to your inflows and your outflows at Lake Folsom your current inflows at Lake Folsom are 16,821 and your current outflows are 8,088 so you can see that they're letting out about half of what's coming in currently and it's allowing the lake to increase percentage of capacity your current percent of capacity is 81.49 percent of capacity and we go out to lake Folsom's last 12 hours here at lake Folsom, and we skedaddle in and you can see that 8,088 16,821 just like i said your storage acre fee is 796,145 449 you can see it come up from 448.56 to 449.15 and then we continue to roll on here as we roll out to Lake Shasta you can see 2021 2022 and then look at this 2023 we are almost to the top ladies and gentlemen we are getting really close I'm not sure why they haven't released water yet but they haven't that I know of not very much anyway so we are getting really really close to the top and I've never seen them let them increase like this this is pretty incredible set of circumstances i don't think i've ever seen them just let it fill all the way back up like that without a dump somewhere along the way because there's still a bunch of snow in the mountains yet so now some of it is gone lake shasta's water levels currently 1062.51 feet msl sunday april 30th 2023 at 4 a.m the level is 4.449 feet below full pool of 1067 and the lake is come up 0 0.53 feet and the very last thing I have today, I managed to get this to pop up, but everything else has went in silence. You guys can check it out for yourself and let me know whenever it comes back up. But right, as of right now, it's not working. I was trying to stall out so I could finish this video. I did get this to pop up just a little bit ago, but nothing else is. Anyway, Shasta's at 97%, Lake Orville's at 91 New Bullard's Bar's at 89 Folsom's at 81 Don Pedro's at 77 and that is all I have you guys can check this out all you want and Trinity still at 36 unbelievable I was hoping this would be a lot higher they do have some rain coming so we will see and you guys have a blessed day and we will see you on the next one God bless